Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC. That's Everyday City Carry. Now, what did I do this week? I was sent to Hudson Yards to drop off some stuff for work. The old office job. Now, I've never been to Hudson Yards, but I know it was in the news a lot since a lot of stuff is being built there. You know, the tall buildings and all that. We also checked out that movie Hellboy. At the time of this recording, though, I haven't gone to see it yet. I was kind of hesitant to check this movie out since the reviews are pretty bad, but due to the recommendation of a buddy, the real Matthew Baker, we decided to go see it. Speaking of, this is a good time to shout out some peeps, cause man, this week I received some really inspirational comments and uh, DMs from people, and I really appreciate that guys. This channel truly feeds on that energy. When you guys are chill, I'm chill. When you're hyped about something, so am I. When you guys are down, I'm down. And man, I was down a lot this week. Even though I may seem like a dude that's hardly down, some days I get up and I'm not feeling super creative. And I get negative thoughts like, Ugh, my video is going to be sh** this week. But reading your funny, interesting, and meaningful DMs and comments gave me the pick-me-up I needed. And I was all like, I gotta make something cool for these guys. And what do I have for you this week? The Wii Knife Scamp. Now to me, the most important spec in a knife is the price. And the price is $168. What's dope about it, what's whack about it, or if you should forget about it? What's dope about it? Well, you got that S35VN blade steel in 3 inch blade length. Now, S35VN is Crucible's I gotta pay more for this knife blade steel. Now, I'm just playing. It's tough. It's a wear resistor. It hates chips. Nah. But it does have resistance to chipping. Edge chipping. Not gonna get into the steel specifics because I'm not a spec expert, but we all love S35VN. The titanium scales on the scamp are incredible. You've got a really nice milling, sort of variations of it throughout the scales. You got light ones, you got some cut out a little bit deeper. And the design is amazing. Very classy. I really dig the dirty bronze color. It's sort of like a, almost like a worn used bronze. I really like that, man. It just gives it a more high-end look. And you've got titanium hardware also. And you got this really weird lanyard backspacer thing. Come on. One thing you notice about this little guy is it's super lightweight. This thing is only 1.85 ounces. What? With a 3 inch blade length and the lightweight, you've got something that's sort of a perfect office carry. Perfect for NYC, at least for me. In fact, here's what I carry this week. Pretty simple EDC. I've got a Victorinox recruit. Sort of your basic Swiss Army. I've got an Olight flashlight. Which, uh, man, this thing is just awesome to have. It's a pretty tiny light, can fit anywhere, decent lumens. And I've got this Mass Drop Limited Edition Victorinox Alox, which is pretty cool, man. Did not know it was going to be this freaking small. Useful, though. And can fit in almost any kit. The Scamp is a great office carry. It probably won't scare any sheeples away, you know what I mean? First of all, it doesn't flip out real quick or anything like that. Now the mechanism on the Wii Knife Scamp comes correct with the snappy. It's solid but not too strong. Here I am comparing it with the Victorinox Recruit here. And this is supposed to be a two-handed opener. But the Asian Dex, the Asian Dexterity took control and uh, I sort of figured out how to open this thing with one hand. Now this has a half stop and what that means is it'll stop halfway, sort of a safety feature I think. 
the gentry feels actually much snappier than the scamp i like the gentry as well it was just a little too large for me so i ended up carrying the scamp only but i want to thank we knives for uh Letting us check this out, you know, the Apex Pass Around group, I got to check out the Gentry and the Wee Knife Scam. Now, watching other reviewers, I've got to mention here that the Scamp has a stainless steel back spring. Not really sure what that is, <laughs> but uh, you guys can educate me in the comments. What's whack about it? Now, I don't know sh about slip joints just fyi here so this review could be completely useless to you guys you know i'm gonna just try to showcase the knife here uh the logo it's got this other wee knife logo that i see on some on some wee knife models i like the other one better man i don't know what it is i like the other one that's sort of like a we i kind of like that better now the scamp, I would recommend this only for light use, all right? You're not gonna wanna break down some really thick cardboard or anything like that. Uh, I just cut some UPS boxes and some paper basically. Because, you know, this thing doesn't have a lock, so come on, you don't wanna mess up your hand. This thing could snap on you. The price. Now, I get that the materials are great, but at 168, 170, that's kind of like my, you gotta think about it, Ray Price, you know? Because I ain't rich. I'm not Scrooge McDuck, guys. Do I think that this thing is worth it? I don't have a lot of negatives to complain about with the scamp because I truly think it's a great knife. And I don't know a lot about slip joints, man. I just wanted to showcase this guy because I enjoyed the crap out of it while I carried it this week. Do you forget about it? Well, it depends. This is for a person who lives in a place like me, NYC or something, that wants to carry discreet, wants to carry something office sheeple safe. Needs a knife without a lock to fit local laws and restrictions and all that. Man, I'm really sad to send this knife away because it's part of my pass around group and I can't keep it. It has definitely sparked my interest in slip joints. And if there are any others that you guys would want me to check out and sort of get my childish views on it, you know, because I'm the knife child basically because I don't know jack squat. Hit me up in the comments, you know, maybe I'll pick something up and uh we can showcase it in some future videos. But regarding the Wii Knife Scamp, man, if you've got the 168 to spare and you're looking for a classy slip joint, you know? Maybe you wanna put on a top hat. Maybe you wanna be a gentleman and be like, good day, sir, or something like that. Maybe the Wii Knife Scamp is for you. This is your boy in the NYC, it's me Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace.